Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can use a rectangle sheet creatively in VSCC Free Video Editor. So what we are going to do is we will add a rectangle sheet on the right half of the screen right here. And then we will write some text on top of the rectangle sheet. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I've already imported my demo video in the editor. So first of all, go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle sheet on top of the screen like this. And let me just, as I said before, I want my rectangle sheet to appear on the right half of the screen. So let me just resize my rectangle sheet accordingly. So let me just resize my rectangle sheet like this. And so I want the height of my rectangle sheet to be of 1080 and the width should be 960. Perfect. And so let me just quickly place my rectangle sheet first of all right here and then click on this option which says right align and then click on this option which is top align. Perfect. Now the next thing which we will do is we will decrease the duration of our rectangle object in the timeline. So currently the duration of my rectangle object is the entire duration of my video which is 20 seconds, 20 milliseconds. So let me just decrease the duration of my rectangle object to 10 seconds. And let me just place my rectangle object at 5 seconds in the timeline. So I want my rectangle object to appear at 5 seconds in the timeline. Perfect. So let me just quickly play this entire video for you. So right here is my demo video. Then at 5 seconds, my rectangle sheet appears on the screen as you can see. And then at somewhere around 15 seconds, it will disappear from the screen. And then my demo video will kind of continue playing. Perfect. Now the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to blur my video when the sheet appears on the screen. So double click on the video and place the cursor at 5 seconds, 5 milliseconds. And then go to video effects. Go to filters, select box blur and then click on OK. Now let me just decrease the duration of my box blur effect to 10 seconds. And look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this blur levels option where currently 1 is there. So change the value from 1 to 10. Perfect. And so let me just quickly play this entire video for you once again from the start. So right here is my demo video. Then at 5 seconds my rectangle sheet will appear on the screen and my video gets blurred. Perfect. Now the next thing which we will do is we will add a side push transition to our rectangle sheet. Because currently my rectangle sheet is appearing directly on the screen. So double click on the rectangle object in the timeline and then go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window and the first option which is there is type where currently door is selected. So click on this drop down list and select side and the mode is right to left and directly is false. So inside the directly option change this from false to true and place the push transition right at the beginning of the rectangle sheet like this. So let me just quickly play this. All right. So two things which we need to do is that currently the gradient length inside the gradient length option the value is 50. So change the value to 0. And we need to change the mode of our side push transition. So currently the mode is right to left. So let me just change the mode from right to left to left to right. Perfect. And so now let me just quickly play this entire thing for you once again from the start. So right here is my demo video. Then at 5 seconds my video gets blurred and my rectangle sheet appears on the screen. Perfect. All right. 
double click on the rectangle object once again and we will once again add another push transition so go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok and type is already set to side mode is already set to left to right the only difference is directly option is set to false in the first push transition directly option was set to true perfect so let me just quickly play the video for you from here and right here comes my rectangle sheet and then at somewhere around 15 seconds my rectangle sheet disappears in a similar fashion perfect all right now the next thing which we will do is we will write some text on top of our rectangle sheet so i want four text to appear on top of my rectangle sheet so and they should appear a little late so for example my first text should appear at three seconds my second text should appear at four seconds 500 milliseconds my third text should appear at somewhere around um maybe maybe six seconds and my last text should appear at somewhere around seven seconds 500 milliseconds um i can do this way or maybe okay let's start with the first text so let me just place my let me just place my cursor let's just start with one second one second 500 milliseconds that would be more appropriate so let me just place the cursor at one second 500 milliseconds and now let me just go to add object select text go to text select text and then click on ok now mark your text object inside the rectangle sheet like this perfect and let me just write some text so let me just write let's say left let me just change the text color to black and the font to and the font to Arial Arial black and let me increase the font size to somewhere around maybe maybe somewhere around 120 pixels okay let me just write left all in caps lock left perfect and so let me just place my text object right here let me just place the push object right at the top perfect and now let me just place my text properly right here all right so this is my first text let me just write my second text my second text should appear at three seconds so let me just write three seconds and now let me just go to add object go to text select text and then click on ok now mark your text object once again in a similar fashion like this and let me just write write and let me just place it somewhere right here just a second let me just place it exactly right here perfect and so what we need to take care of is the is the width and height of the text boxes so width is 843 200 and for the second text box as you can see width is 838 191 so i need to make sure the width and height of all my text boxes are the same 843 200 so let me just write 843 inside the width and 
200 inside the height perfect and just to avoid confusion what i can do is now i can select the second text box press ctrl c and then press ctrl v to copy paste it and then what i can do is i want my third text box to appear at somewhere around 15 30 45 4 seconds 500 milliseconds so let me just make sure my third text box starts from 4 seconds 500 milliseconds 4 seconds 500 milliseconds perfect and uh, of course we can't see the third text box because I have to move it below like this perfect and what I need to do now is I need to make the necessary changes so left right then we got then we got top and finally again select the third text box which you created and um, again press ctrl c press ctrl v and what you need to do is you need to decrease just a second you need to decrease the duration of the fourth text box and it should start from 15 30 45 60 so six seconds so it should start from six seconds in the timeline so let me just write six inside the time option perfect and what i need to do now is again i need to place it properly so let me just select the fourth text box let me just drag it below let me just drag it below right here and um, let me just make the necessary changes so we got left right top and finally we have bottom left right top bottom so let me just make let me just keep little space between all my text perfect and so now um, let me just quickly play this entire video for you once again from the start so right here is my demo video which is playing and then at five seconds my video will get blurred while the rectangle sheet appears on the screen like this and then my text kind of appears one by one oh all right all right they're not appearing in order so i need to make sure they appear in order so what happens is first this one appears second this one appears all right so what i need to do is i need to and third this one appears all right and finally this one appears all right all right what i need to do is i need to understood i need to order them properly so this will go below this and this will go below this and i need to make the necessary changes so this will kind of start at this will start at perfect this will start at three seconds this will start at four second 500 millisecond and this will start at six seconds so let me just write six right here perfect and so now let me just quickly play this entire thing for you once again from the start so that 
everything is working fine let's see i hope everything works fine now so right here is my demo video my rectangle sheet kind of comes first second third and fourth then at 15 seconds they kind of go away perfect one final thing which is left to do is we need to add the fade in effect inside all our text object so double click on the first text object then go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on okay similarly double click on the second text object go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on okay and then double click on the third text object go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on okay and finally double click on the fourth text object go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and then click on okay perfect and so now finally if i just quickly play this whole video for you once again from the start so now everything is done perfectly so right here is my demo video then at 5 seconds my demo video gets blurred and the rectangle sheet kind of appears my first text fades in second text fades in third text fades in fourth text fades in then at 15 seconds the rectangle sheet goes away and my demo video continues playing perfect so this is how you can use your rectangle sheet creatively in vscc free video editor this was just a demo you can do a lot of different things you just need to think it and then you can create many different variations from this but anyway do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching